Welcome back. Welcome back. You man, Dami K in here, of course, the Dami K show on fire dash tv.com. Uh, thank you for tuning in. So it, it never should be lost that the former president is currently on one of several trials. And the question is whether or not Trump is going to take the stand. Prosecutors in the Manhattan District Attorney's Office rested their case yesterday. What does that mean exactly? That means that we are one step closer to this decision being on the jury. On the jury. We are one step closer to that. And uh, you've heard the phrase before, the people rest. The people rest. Prosecutors resting their case yesterday against former President Donald Trump. The first criminal trial of a U.S. president in this country's history is nearing the close. And that same person, I say, has a 50-50 shot of becoming a president again. We are truly in unchartered waters. The defense now has the opening to present its witnesses, and they did that. They started that. They're going to try to persuade at least one potential skeptical juror that Trump committed no crime. The defense is going to try to find somebody to side with them that Donald Trump did nothing wrong with regards to his company's business records in 2016. So if we go back to that time, he was a White House candidate. He had filled out the application. The former president argues that he is the victim of a conflicted and corrupt judge. Don't you notice how everybody's against him? Everybody's wrong except for him. He, he, he never is at fault. It's everybody else. Doesn't matter what we're talking about. Donald Trump, the former president, argues that he is the victim. Why would the country want to elect someone with such a defeatist mentality? Why? What is it that they see and they connect with with regards to Donald Trump? What is it? I don't know. I don't know. Donald Trump argues that he is the victim of a conflicted and corrupt judge and a partisan prosecutor who uh, want to prevent him from campaigning for the presidency. They're trying to hold him back. Trying to hold him back. Donald Trump argues that Michael Cohen, his former attorney, former attack dog, the prosecution's flawed star witness. Michael Cohen's very flawed. But here's the thing. Trump is complaining that Michael Cohen was the star witness. Trump, you made Michael Cohen the star witness. Why? Why, why do I say this? I say this because if Donald Trump did not deal with shady individuals like Michael Cohen, he wouldn't be a witness. You chose him. And he talks about the locations. Ah, I can't get a fair trial in Manhattan. Can't get a fair trial in this place, that place. You choose the locations by where you commit your crimes. That is, that is a fact. They didn't just pick a random place off the map. They didn't just pick a random people. These are places you committed crimes or you're alleged to have committed crimes. 
And these are people that you are alleged to have committed crimes with. Michael Cohen has already gone to jail for actions taken and presented during this trial of the former president, who was also a, a current candidate. So that potentially means he's committing crimes right now if we judge by his track record. They say that Michael Cohen, his former uh, lawyer, and the prosecution's star witness, as I said, is a convicted liar who admitted yesterday to stealing from the Trump organization and changing his story about his former boss, allegedly for personal financial gain. So the defense is trying to say the star witness cannot be trusted and therefore this case should not be happening. Therefore, you should not believe what they are presenting to you in this case because the star witness is a liar. Did you steal from the Trump organization based on the expected reimbursement of Red Finch? Trump's lawyer, Todd Blanche, asked the now disbarred Michael Cohen. Yes, sir. He responded. But what's interesting is that Todd Blanche, the Trump defense attorney, in his opening statement, said that they were going to prove that Trump did not reimburse Michael Cohen. But they're making the case saying Trump reimbursed him? I don't know. These so-called smart people, these so-called smart people strike again with their stupidity. Todd Blanche. Supposed to be a smart person. Yes, sir, Michael Cohen said, referring to his decision to pocket tens of thousands of dollars in padded reimbursement after paying for a tech firm to rig polls in the former president's favor. These are the questions the defense is asking. Oh, my God. Michael Cohen has testified that Trump was the mastermind behind the alleged scheme to pay for the silence of two women who they said had sex with him and reimbursed Cohen for the payments while allegedly illegally falsifying documents to mask the expenses. Did I say this is a former president already? The former attorney also testified yesterday that he changed his story after initially saying Trump had nothing to do with the hush payments. How many times have we seen victims of abuse lie and say that they were not abused only to later admit the truth? Was, oh, yesterday you said, or last year you said you weren't abused. You said you fell down the steps. Now you're coming forward and saying that your husband did it. How can we believe you? That would be a terrible thing to do and say, but it happens. So it comes down to do we believe Michael Cohen or not? And they're saying because he's a bad person and a, uh, a flawed individual, Trump's innocent? Uh, no. No. The conclusion of Trump's made-for-tabloid drama, he is a reality star. He is a masterful promoter of himself. I mean, we got a porn star. We got the National Enquirer. We got money. We got a, a revolving, cheering section of uh, uh, Trump, you know, VIP flunkies, loyalist. But this trial has entered its final phase. The roster of witnesses for the defense is unclear. It is unclear. 
So it's leading me to speculate. Is Trump going to take the stand? No, I don't think so. Does he want to? No. <laughs> no. Does his attorneys want him to? No. No. Legal experts have said either option presents political and legal consequences. Trump taking the stand, Trump not taking the stand. It does have legal consequences either way. The risks are real. It's not a joke. Few who are experienced in criminal trials thinks that he should do so. Now, if I'm the prosecution, I want Trump to take the stand. They would be able to catch him in all kind of lies and open him up for other things. Trump doesn't take the stand. They don't have those chances. If I'm Trump's attorneys, I don't want him to take the stand. Too unpredictable. Trump has dangled the idea that maybe I'll take the stand, swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth, answer questions in my own defense. Yeah. He's signaling that he's not going to. But he's sending out spokes, spokespersons, spokespeople to try to convince supporters he wanted to take the stand but his attorneys told him not to and gotta listen to his attorneys like trump listens to anybody all you gotta do is tell the truth donald all you gotta do is tell the truth todd blanche told the judge at a sidebar conference that he had no indication yesterday of whether trump would opt to testify judge juan Machan indicated that closing arguments would be next Tuesday, the day after Labor Day. So here's how this thing works. If Trump doesn't testify, the judge is going to, you know, have a meeting with him and say, are you absolutely sure you don't want to testify? Is this your decision? And if you are convicted and uh, you didn't testify, you cannot say you didn't have the opportunity and, you, you know, your lawyers can't pressure you. It has to be your decision going to take all that away right take away any of the doubt that it's anybody other than trump who makes a decision to not testify but since when have his supporters let something like the truth or facts get in the way so the defense put up two witnesses thus far one is like a paralegal. The other is uh, attorney Robert Costello. Oh, drama, drama, drama. Yesterday, he attracted very sharp retribution from the judge because Robert Costello was disrespectful in court, disrespecting the judge. It's evident in the transcript. Judge was pissed off, cleared the courtroom. These things never happen. Never happen. So why would this attorney think that he can disrespect the judge? Trump has been consistently disrespecting the judge. And he has emboldened others to do the same thing. I don't think it's a smart idea. But, hey, we're talking about so-called smart people. These so-called smart people have proven and continue to prove that they are not smart. Trump's unlikely to even pay most of these folks. Robert Costello, this attorney, he had to sue Rudy Giuliani for uh, non-payment over a million dollars. Had to sue Steve Bannon for non-payment, like $500,000. These are the type of people that run around in the Donald Trump circles. So, yes, Trump is unlikely to take the stand. This we know. Is it good? Is it bad? Let me know your thoughts, of course, in the comment section, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, TikTok, at The Diamond K Show. Of course, all social media, at The Diamond K Show. 
on fire-tv.com. You need to get in touch with me, booking or any other info, djdiamondk at gmail.com. You can support the Diamond K Show and On Fire TV via paypal.me slash radio on fire. On Cash App, I am dollar sign the Diamond K Show. You can become a member today. Support this independent machine. On fire-tv.com slash join. Become a member. On fire-tv.com slash support. You want to make a one-time donation. On YouTube, subscribe. YouTube.com slash DJ Diamond K. Let's do this. Take a quick break. We're going to come back. And I want to talk about Marilyn Mosby. She is going to be sentenced on Thursday. I'm going to be sentenced on Thursday. And the Congressional Black Caucus is supporting her. We're going to talk about that right after this. <laughs> Welcome back. Welcome back. You man, Diamond K in here, of course, the Diamond K show on fire-tv.com. So the Congressional Black Caucus is calling for President Biden to pardon Marilyn Mosby, the former Baltimore City State's attorney. As I said, she is going to be sentenced on Thursday. The Congressional Black Caucus is asking for a pardon. Now, they've also been asking for uh, the George Floyd Voting Rights Act. So, you know, I don't know if they necessarily have the ear of the president, but I'm glad that they're putting this out there. In a three paged letter, the caucus argued that Mosby was wrongfully convicted and uh, the, the prosecution was political by the Justice Department under the Trump administration. It calls her prosecution egregious, which it is. Egregious. Mosby applied for a presidential pardon last week. Hopefully she will get to it. Hopefully she'll get it. I talked to her briefly a few days ago. She has a lot going on. It is a stressful time. It is a stressful time. She is a strong woman who I respect. And she's had a lot thrown at her in her pursuit of justice. Congressman Kwasi Mfume said that members don't discuss caucus business except through the chair. So they didn't have a whole lot extra to say about this. Mosby is going to be sentenced on two counts of perjury, one count of mortgage fraud in the purchase of two Florida vacation homes. Isn't it interesting that Donald Trump is not facing 40 years and not and, and, and nothing right that he's uh, charged with? The former Baltimore City State's attorney pulled from her retirement. Over 35,000 individuals in this country did the same thing during that time. Marilyn Mosby is the only person being brought up on charges. Oh, this is not. This is this is fishy. This is fishy. In a recent interview with Joy Reid, Mosby said that she's done absolutely nothing wrong, nothing illegal, nothing criminal. She was on last week with Roland Martin. Mosby wants probation. Prosecutors want her to spend 20 months in prison. This just does not feel right. They are targeting the former Baltimore City State's Attorney Marilyn Mosby. We're going to definitely follow this case and see what happens. Um, probation would be the best possible scenario. Um, 
you know, so we're, we're going to we're going to see. Uh, does Marilyn Mosby deserve a pardon? Let me know your thoughts, of course, in the comment section, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, TikTok, at The Diamond K Show, all social media, at The Diamond K Show. And you can support this program and On Fire TV via paypal.me slash radio on fire on cash app, dollar sign, The Diamond K Show. Become a member today, on fire-tv.com slash join, or you can support us, on fire-tv.com slash support, Subscribe on youtube.com slash DJ Diamond K. Contact me for booking or any other info. DJ Diamond K at gmail.com. I am, I'm hoping for the best. But uh, you got to prepare. Prepare. For the worst. Because it could happen at any point in time. On Fire TV is a streaming network for a generation on the move. 